Hey everybody, well, thank you all for tuning in. We have a great show for you tonight. I am still your host, Xavier Fox. What's happening, y'all? It is so nice to be back. Look at this guy with the tall jokes. <laughs> actually, but I'm uh, short uh, yeah, actually, the short jokes. I'm not trying to brag, but I've been engaged like six times in the Dang! Twice. So what you do wrong? Why are you divorcing? Oh lord. <laughs> 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 Had sex. Let me sleep. I want to go and sleep. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yes. What else you do? I, I have heard some people say that if she doesn't go to sleep after it's done, then you just didn't do something exactly. right. So. <laughs> <laughs> question is one that I actually, it's something I encountered on my Facebook page earlier this week. And you know, often I bring a lot of stuff because my discussions in the morning, Monday through Friday from 9 to 12 on my page. Um, it, it brings out some real questions and enlightenment for me. So I think it was Tuesday. I posted to the men. I said, what are black women doing right? And they came right out, like within two minutes, the men started, you know, they, they raising the kids, they standing in, you know, when a lot of men are not stepping up, they doing, they being, you know, good fathers and this and that and the other. So then the next day on Wednesday, I posted to the women. I said, what are black men doing right? Oh, Lord. Do you know? I think maybe five women responded and I actually tagged three of them to come over there to respond. So unsolicited, I only got two women that thought, and one of them was my daughter. Mm. I only got two women that thought black men were doing something right. Now, what my question is, I want to explore, what does that mean? Does that mean that women are not taking note of what black men are doing right? Or are black men really just not doing women something right? Women are hurt right? and still right. hurt. Women are still heard from other men hurting them. No, we so. no black men are on the bottom of total poll. I mean, you can look the statistics of yourself. They they are seriously. I mean, I mean, they're not family oriented. They don't take care of business. All kind of stuff. And you, you know what? But check but check this out. You can't. I'm looking at the stats. I see them together. for myself. But listen, I'm not saying all of them like that. But it's high numbers, and we're like bottom of the total poll in like every race. And, and, and let me tell you something. This is universal. All these women got the same complaints, and we don't even know each other. I don't know that woman in Wisconsin or California that got problems with men. This is the same problem. It's like y'all have a meeting every week. No, all men in the world have a meeting every week. Y'all like, y'all like, y'all like, y'all like, y'all like, do the same thing. All type of business, the same stuff. No, it, what it, you know, to answer that question, ben, and I, and this is what I believe. It's only my opinion. My opinion. It doesn't matter. Uh, I believe that a lot of women are hurt by men and they don't want to give. Because I know that some of those women that didn't, I know they know somebody that is doing what they're supposed to do. For that wasn't the question though. She said, what are, black men? are there some black men? What are black men doing, doing right? right? Sex. What are and black I men said, sex. No, 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 no. I can't no. do that now. No, what? What, what, what? Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Sex. Nice suit. Nice suit. Hey. For real? Let me see. Is that all? Now, the thing about it is the black men came out and said they were singing the black women's praises. Look. Because they began to talk. Of course. We, we don't Look. Know. But see, and then you wonder why you don't have a black man in your life. Because you're not, you're not, we got white men. you're not up to, you're not lifting up the yeah. brothers up. Lift y'all up. We ain't got to do all that. That's why I didn't have to. But we're supposed to lift y'all up. You're supposed to. Come right anyway. It's got to be a balance. It's got to be. Come right. Do what you're supposed to do and then we'll lift you all up. What is come you? right? What, what does that mean? What does that mean? Come what as a man. Right? Be a man. Be a man and what? To 
Tell your business, take care of your business, take care of your kids, take care of your house, all, all kinds of everything. Take care there of There are men out there that do We ain't talking about shit, but high numbers. I said, I mean, okay. can I? My. Stop it. You was doing good. We'll stop it. You was on my side earlier. I'm still on your side. side. Like, you know. I, hate to, uh, I, I hate to admit this. But I, I can understand why nobody, why it was crickets. I really do. Look at Father's Day. And the, and the reason why I, the reason why I say that is because um, there are far too many guys who don't do right, and it's especially when it comes in relation to women. So you might have a lot of times one or the other. Like you might have a guy who will take care of home, you know, who will work, who will do whatever, who will be <coughs> successful, and all that. But then, as far as I don't, actually, let me tell you, actually, I can tell you, I, I know plenty of guys. You do? I know plenty of guys. Most of the guys that I hang around, everybody, well, actually, all the guys that I know, they you work, know this? they do well, they have their own homes, own the cars, whatever. They take you see that? You see that? Yeah. Right. You notice, and that see, to look at him, you would know that that's what he does because the way he carries himself. But see, if women start looking at guys in that manner, it would be, it, they would find the right man. Mm -mm. Because y'all never looking in the right place. Y'all even want a, a bad boy. No, that's not true. Nobody want a bad boy. That's not true. No more? I ain't never want no bad boy. No more? Oh, I mean, my God. Well, what do you mean? Most men ain't right. Most black men ain't right. I mean, how, how you gonna, I mean, come on, that's one in a million. But you don't. It's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not necessarily one in a million. But the reason why I, the reason why I say it was crickets is because sometimes guys who are really successful and they single, they want to be hoes. Because they have and, so many and, options. Right, because they have so many options. So when when women think about black men and what it is that they are doing right. That's the first thing that they're going to go to. Sisters are going to white man. They, you don't grow up. How they, um, you going, hey. they related to them oh. and how they have to deal. And like you said, the majority of the women, probably on X's page, is probably, what, 30 or higher? Let me tell you. Uh, my, my page ranges from 25 to mm -hmm. about 62. Right. So if you Her so if you consider, wait, no. So if you consider that, you consider they probably have met, you know, a string of men who haven't done what they one, so they they don't probably see it. Well, they mean me. And if they were, that's they because are. it's not. But it's it's. So you think that's why they? It's they not hurt. concentration. So they can't see what black men are doing right. Let me tell you, I date white guy. I dated a rap. I date. <coughs> let me tell you something. I can go out there and find look, find one black guy. He gonna play games. Just, you know what? I'm gonna tell you. This, this, this. I dated white guys. <coughs> I'm not saying they don't play games. Okay. I'm not saying none of them don't play games. But oh, I have not dated one that played games. Yes. I have not dated one. I'm not saying it might take a tenth white guy to find somebody, you know, a white guy to so play games. Guy never played I played, no. Chinese guy, no. A rap, no. And they gave it a fair chance. They courted me the way they supposed to be. I'm telling you, but you go out here and you date ten black black men all the yeah. ten are no, gonna, you know what I'm saying? You don't date men, so you can't no, say No, 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 listen, listen, say, listen, listen, listen. I wasn't even about to comment on that. Okay. But that's I think it's funny because as soon as a black man talk about how different white women are from Ooh, black women, y'all have to talk about No, I talk about how different white women are from Ooh, black women. No, I, don't 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 I can't say nothing because I don't date women. Hold so on. I can't and that's say that's that. And the reason why I wasn't going to argue with your, you know, black, white men, this, this, that, is because I don't date. I don't date men. So that was going to be, that's my same argument with women. How can you tell right. us what's different sure. when you exactly. don't date white women or you don't date whatever? Right. So the point is, is this, is that that's why I'll say that. for the most part, men, when it comes culturally, most people have the same, all of them have the same thing in their head. Mm -hmm. They just go about it a different way. Mm -hmm. So white men, believe me, I'm going to tell you, white men think the same way that black men think. They may go about it a different way. <laughs> They all, we all gonna lead you to the same they place. Listen, family. I'm gonna tell you, no. we're gonna all lead you to the same place. They kill each other too. But we may just go a different route. And us. It's as simple as that. Because I'm gonna tell you, I have plenty of, I, I have plenty of white friends or whatever. They don't tell you also, how they date what they Listen, do. no. Listen, my, my point is not how they date. My point is the way that they think. We all have similar ways of thinking. We just do things differently. But but how? But, but I'm saying, how come you can't just grasp like? Okay, that 
okay, a lot of black men play a lot of games, and, and maybe the numbers are lower in other races because they were taught. Uh, white men are taught to pro provide. They, they have the dads they, well, listen, in listen. the home. And, and you know, guess what? That's I agree with you. They could be plotting to kill their wife, but you, they going on their trip and they holding hands and they doing the and family they thing. Off the uh, uh, right. That's that's again, they might. They, 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 they had a good vacation. Know, they, they got generational they wealth. It's right. passed they're down. They right. come to. Right. But you know what? But you know what? It's, but, but they're the, dead. But see, you're proving my That's point. You're proving my point. I'm not saying all like that, but I'm just saying, no. as far as dating goes, right. I have not. They I'm not it. saying that they don't play games, but the ones that I've dated gave it a fair. They, they was consistent. They gave it a fair chance. They courted me how I'm supposed to court, and, and the Ava. All of, I haven't had no so problems with it. Just didn't work out. But the black guy, you you meet them, they lying, they doing this, they doing that. They name ain't even Michael, it's Bubba. I mean, no dumb stuff. And they don't have no kids, but they do, and, and they they live. Their mom said they only own all type of little, you know, crazy, stupid stuff. You know, just don't make How sense. How are these guys you talking to? But you know what? I, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. That may not. That may not. <laughs> that may not necessarily be your experience with white men. But I will tell you this. As a man, I'm white men. you said what? She said. Because I'm married. I, but, but I'll tell you this. That has been white women's experience with white men. Okay. Yes, it has. It has been white. Well, women. Well, Go look at the numbers. Listen, see listen, how many I'm get just, married. Listen, I'm just merely saying that I that I am friends with white women and they have made I'm similar complaints. I'm not saying complaints. that no, I'm they just, don't. I'm trying to tell you. I'm, I'm just, saying that I think the numbers aren't equal. It may not be. You saying that the ratio is not the same. Right. That's that's possible. Exactly. That's what I'm. Oh, my <clears> throat> throat> the ratio is definitely not the same. Okay. White people get married. That that's like. For them, that is just part of growing up. Oh. At some point, they're going to do that. But you know what? The thing That's about good. it is, you know, last season, and actually I'm going to air the second part of it this season, the differences panel where the men talked about the differences between women, black, white, and other. And that's quite an interesting show. But last season I did it where the uh, women talked about the differences between men, and we kind of talked about the differences between ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a white woman on there and all this. So we were talking, and the thing about it that I learned from that show is it is not so much about our color of our skin, it is how you were raised. Because the thing about it is the women who are raised, I came from a two-parent family. I believe I have traditional values. You know, I'm gonna Do cook. You use Most definitely. You don't show the yard? The man there is man's oh, work. Cut some grass. There are man's cut there is grass. man's work and there is woman's work. Will don't Will well, can't we cook, tell you Will can't I'm tell you dishes. what is missing in I'm the kitchen. Will know toilet. Will know that when he go yeah, in that refrigerator, his favorite change. juice and his you favorite everything change. that he like is in there. It you don't never run out. Things. He he That's eat it. You're gonna change things, things. You said you're gonna change. You're gonna change things. Is that who she is? How she gonna change? No, no, I say she's gonna change things. I didn't say her. Change things for what? Listen change. to what you said. You said that women, they know that they're supposed to cook and all this other stuff. Men don't. That's uh, cutting the grass, shoveling in the yard is a man's job. That's what she said, right? But I've never cut grass in my life. But I'm not starting a lot Okay, that's why a lot of women have problems with men. Not cooking or I cleaning mean, up their own plates. Do women have problems with that? Oh, what, men not cooking? Because I don't know how to cook and I've never. But you know what? No, no, no. Because this, some this, women. I don't even allow Will in the kitchen. Me, me. He, throw, he, he messed up stuff when he go in the kitchen. Okay, because. Just what I feel. I think that, I think that is a well. woman's <laughs> job. <laughs> I think that is a woman's yeah. job, but when that woman don't feel like doing it and you see that she is exhausted and tired or sick, get her she back. Get her back. Right. 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 That's all I'm saying. Right. Or right. take her out or do something. Make her right. Back. Right. So you want to keep her. Some a favorite meal so of your own. Now, now, okay. Learn how to cook that and cook it the best way you I can. I tell you what. So when you cook it, if Will was was sick and he couldn't shovel the snow, then I would either shovel it or I would roll over it with your car. Go pay somebody I would, to do yeah, it. I would pay somebody to do it, yeah, no but it would get done. Just make the life a little bit easier. But it would get you done. Know, sexy. Okay, just say you and I was together, and you on cook or whatever, and you know I'm tired, exhausted, you know stuff like that. Even if I saw you trying or got the little eggs or little mixing, oh my god, that's man, make me a nice sandwich you know some chips with a man, He don't even do this, but he made don't me feel that he's trying. <laughs> The difference doesn't come from the color of our skin. It comes from what we're taught as we're raised. 
If you come from a traditional family where you see traditional roles, then you're going to identify one of the roles. You know, and more than likely, the man is going to identify with the man and one of the, you know, every once in a while. Oh, I guess which Holistic Harmony Inc. is a solution-focused therapy agency with 100% satisfaction in building passionate, quality relationships. We offer individual, couples, and group sessions with licensed therapists. No topic is off-limits because we believe in real talk. Contact us today to schedule your appointment at 773-420-9572. Visit us on the web at holisticharmonyinc.biz. We don't counsel you, we cultivate you. If you've ever dreamed of becoming an entrepreneur and don't know where to start, The Entrepreneur Within You by Julie Holloway is a must read. Holloway and 17 co-authors share advice and inspiration that can save you from serious business blunders. So purchase your copy today on Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com. The Entrepreneur Within You, empowering, equipping, inspiring. Right, right. So you so become. I, I was. Mom had us with chores. You know, we mopped the floor, we cleaned the bed, um, bathrooms. We made sure our rooms were clean. We cooked. I cooked breakfast numerous of times for my my family as a young. Boy. Well, can I say this? No. I'm gonna say this, and, and I know I'm gonna get a uh, response from two of y'all, and then this is gonna be. The, the end of my thing, I suppose. Someone, someone said that a man, okay, you know, there's always this great debate that um, a woman cannot raise a boy to be a man because okay. she's not a man. Exactly. Okay. I, I agree with that. Okay. So if you have a woman that's raising boys, someone said that you can only teach what you are. So these are strong black women raising our boys. And so what they teach you to be is a strong black woman. A strong black woman can do everything. She takes care of the house. She cooks, she cleans, she molds the lawn. She does all of those things. So you become what a, you strong a strong black, black woman. What black woman outside cutting the grass? You just said that. I see them all the time. Where? Uh, my my girl well, Paige, she she mowed along. Yeah. Matter of fact, she was mowing along. I'm like, how you do you gotta do it? Paige mowed along. She be out there. Okay, she so got so. a whole big old backyard. She owned her own house. She mow her lawn. She shovel her snow. When I would be over there, I watch. Look, because I know. I'm. A, I'll, I'll say this. Um, <gasps> you let your mom mow. My mom lives in her own house. So you go over and do my lawn for her. Why would I do that? She can do it herself. And, the, and another thing, he didn't mean that. No, I did. No, no, I did mean that. For I real? Mean, I'm gonna tell you why. 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 Look, here's the thing with my mother. Wow. My mother doesn't like to rely on anybody to do anything. So that's how she has always been. My mother, she has like groomed me, my brothers, all of us to be independent of each other. She has, I mean, she has made, it's, it's funny because when I'm at her house and I try to do stuff, she'd be like, oh no, I got it. I gotta have, I gotta have to fight her to do That's stuff. Awesome. But at the same time, I mean, look, my mom, she, her, her lawn is big. So she has a writer. So you know what? My mom also has a lot of money. If she, if she, if she wanted done, my mom can pay somebody. When I, when I lived there, when I used to live with my mother and I used to work all the time, you know what I did? I paid somebody to do it. So, I mean, my mom has a lot of money. My mom can pay somebody. She chooses not to. No, so, she, she does the right way. But the way he is playing it, oh, she can do it herself. She can. I mean, she, she get on the ride or whatever. She, she called me over there. That would be mine. But, like, but no, she, I remember she called me over there. And she was like, I was like, what's up? She was like, I want you to teach me how to do this. Teach me how to do it. How to, you know, teach me how to do the ride. It was like, okay, get out on the thing, taught her how to do it. Now my mom, she do it. Now if she ever gets, if she ever gets to the point where she's too old to do it, I'll do it happily. Yeah. Right. You know, but I mean, my mom, she ain't about to sit here and, and wait to continuously call me, hey, I need to, you know, need you to move my line to this and this. Yeah, no, no we, don't, we don't work like that in my family. How do y'all you know? feel about gas? Like, if you're in a woman's car, or you, do you feel that she should, like, if you with somebody on a date, and do you feel that you should pay for the gas and pump it or what? Because me and my girlfriend had this 
discussion yesterday because I was dating this guy and you know what, I want to show I appreciate because he always would take me out and we would go out and he always paid and everything so I want to take him out on a date and mm -hmm. pay for it and you ride in my car and I drive this time. Mm -hmm. So I had to go to the gas station and he sat in the car. Whose car was you in? Mine. Okay. He sat in the car. My boys know not to, to sit in the car because some things are just men. I'm mm -hmm. not taking on no garbage. Right. But right. I do everything else. Right, right. Okay, but. Why can't you take out no garbage? I ain't taking out no garbage. Boys. I shouldn't have no, to no, live with a bunch of stuff either. I got three boys. No, you do. I ain't um, taking out no garbage. Right. But just, I do. Just a question. Not, but, right. but get. You Unless I live alone. This ain't disrespectful. A guy just sitting there looking. So you're checking garbage. Crazy. I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. Um. If you wanted to buy the gas, it's fine, but yeah, you should have pumped it. Right, I agree. But he did. I, but see, he didn't know. Either. He was like, well, he I didn't know because my, you know, so I, I had to tell him. He but he do that. everything else. Mm -hmm. He does everything else. He's from my no. house. If he come to my house, he'd be like, you know what I'm saying? He do do his stuff. But this right here, he just didn't know because. Why would he? Oh, that was, that's one of the things, too, that I look for. Maturity. When I'm dating, maturity. sorry. When I'm dating, if a guy comes to my house and. And he can see I have garbage. He wants me in my kitchen. Because, you know, I, I love my vodka. Wait, wait, what if he's just, that's the first time I'm him being at your house? So he's taking He don't know how to take garbage out? out? He's taking your garbage out? Yeah. If he's taking the only reason he's taking that garbage out because he think he's going to get something. Like, no, it take more than that. I don't care what he thinks. Hey, 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 hey. No, you I, I, I don't, don't care what his other plans are. Why is he taking your garbage okay. out? Okay. You didn't put no garbage Keith, in there. Okay. Keep no, in mind what kind of person I am. I don't care what his long-term goal is because he can't go no further than I oh, let him go. Right. Because I run this. I run all of this here. Do you feel that the, that the man should pay for the gas too? Now my well, girlfriend thought that. I, she got mad at this guy. And it I was depends. like, no. Nah, if it was your treat for the day, then. I'm going to tell you, if you're for the day. Now, if you're treating, then, and you're in your car. If you're treating, then you know, pump it. Yeah. He yeah, should have pumped, no. pumped it. But if you if it was your treat, you treat if it's your yeah. treat, you know, treat. If you taking the roll, you taking the roll. But he should have pumped it. I've had guys until my tank of moves and stuff for cars, so yeah. I thought, but they didn't have to do that. Right. Yeah, no, yeah, I've done it. I've done that too. I so mean, how I, do you I, feel about a man opening the door for you when you get in and out of your car? To me, I don't feel it's necessary. But you know what? See? But to me, see? but to I'm me, I'll do the same it. thing. I, I, you know what? I'll do the same for him. I'm gonna open his door. Sometimes, like if, if if I'm reaching the door before him, I ain't going to walk through it. Right. That's I, why. That's I, but why. no, no, no. Listen. She was a tomboy as a kid. I was a tomboy too, but I got but conditioned. Listen, no, I but let's see, y'all, y'all. Oh my God, I'm saying I'm not going to just let him open the door and let him just walk up. I will grab the door first, and I'm still going to go through it first. But some guys be like, no, I got it. You know what I mean? Okay, I'll let you get it. But I'm not hung up on on. They still get the door and let me in, but I'm saying I will open the door for them. Like, well, you know, instead of me standing, if I'm walking to the door and I'm just standing there, just waiting on, waiting on him to open, I'm right here. I just, Man, I tell you what, my no. guy has me so spoiled because he just gets upset if I open the door. Yeah, so, guys do. and I have yeah. gotten to the point before I even got with him. Actually, I, I had that issue because I, I was on a date in, in a whole other city, actually. Um, with this guy and so we pull up to the restaurant and so you know we're in the truck and I'm so used to guys opening the door for me until you know I'm just sitting there I just know he's about to come around and open my door and then I looked up I, I don't know he's if I was texting no he was standing by the restaurant door and I was still sitting wow. in the truck and I'm like and he looked back like are oh, you what coming are you we going in guy? here what so Valet just, got in the car <laughs> hey Valet got in the car and drove Hunter right in front of us I'm gonna tell you, well, I'm, that, I'm gonna tell you what's funny about about that is that I am I am used to opening the door for you know women or whatever, but when they're in my car, every all women they get out of the car on their own, like you know. We, that's what I'm saying. That's what I do. Like, I every, get on my own. You know, they just get out of the car. Too. So, so one day I went out on a date with this uh, young lady, and we go into the movies, and we were downtown, and I park whatever, and I get out and I start walking. And <laughs> she's still in the car. And I'm looking to the left, and she's still in the car. And I'm like, and that, and it was funny because you know you got one, you got those, um, still, you got the <laughs> Mr. Show, let's go. You got the automatic locks. <laughs> so whenever you know, whenever I get in, I got one that's on my my doorknob. So I get out and I just automatically hit it. So not only did she not get out, but I locked, you locked her out. in. Oh wow. man! So I get out, you know, I do the little. And I walk and I'm like, I didn't, I didn't like that. That's messed 
and I, so I looked at him. Locked her then in. I really, then I, it took me about three seconds, and then I realized, oh, like so longer. she, oh, okay. So I walk over there, and then I open the door, and she's like, and you look on her face. It's, she looked at me like, you locking me in the door? I mean, locking me in the car now? And I'm like, and I just kind of like, hey, That's you funny. know. Uh, we have or something if you want. We have had a great discussion. So let's kind of just wrap it up. Um, what you taking away from this guy? We didn't talk about so much stuff. Mm. So I don't even know how I'm gonna edit this whole thing out. It wasn't quite, but I figured it was gonna be sort of like this. Just go every day, go where. So what are what are you taking away from this conversation? What I'm taking away from this conversation is. I was right. <laughs> like, oh, what was you right about? Everything. Sure. I mean, they didn't sway my decision. And actually, we all basically agreed. On me and the guys. So, you know, I like them. They so, cool. so you, you was on on my question. You kind of said that black men wasn't doing nothing right, right? Did y'all agree? With I that? did say that. I said they the sex. Did y'all agree? Oh, y'all they I weren't doing nothing right with sex. So the, I, you said the black men ain't doing nothing right with sex. Yeah, I can't. Did y'all agree with that? I said that I black can't men think of, are not the possibility of women saying that they're not doing right is because they're hurt. Oh, so you think that the women didn't? No, it's facts. Hurt. I'm not hurt. I don't get. I don't get hurt. You're hurt. No, 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 no. Seriously, You're I don't hurt. get hurt. I'm not saying I've never been hurt before. That was like. So many years ago, I don't you get just hurt. Because I don't get you with that. You dated a Japanese guy, a Chinese guy. We didn't guy, make it. Uh, 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 Ching Tong, Ching Tong, Ching Tong. Small monkey. Guy. Small monkey. Small we didn't make it. We just didn't make it. You know, we just didn't clap. That's it. <laughs> some of my good guys, just because my good guys don't mean they for you. Mm -hmm. There was no chemistry or whatever. One mm -hmm. Arab that I uh, dated, he always had a chauffeur. He always had drivers, and I was like, I money. I don't care, you know, and you got to, uh, uh, you know what, mm -hmm. time out. Mm -hmm. This is my segment right here. Time out. I need a 20 second time out. I got to ask you a question. Me? So all of the guys, you, yeah, you, you, you care. Uh, so all of the guys that you dated of other races, were they well off? No. Mm -mm. No. But, you know, the Chinese guy had a, a beauty shop. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I mean, okay. Yeah, um, the Arabian guy had chauffeurs. So what about the white guy and the monkey guy? Um, well, there's no monkey guy. <laughs> what, what about the white guy? Um, the white guy he was supposed to work on the other white guy. I forgot what he did. The okay. one recently. Oh my god. Okay. All right. I just want to remember. Thank you. But they weren't my boyfriends. It was just dating situation. So gotcha. no, and not everybody has money. I don't care. I've dated people with money and people without money. This and that, you know. No, I was. I was my takeaway is is that um, we probably need to stop focusing on relationships and focus on the people because the people is what we really need to improve. And once you improve the people, uh, the the interaction will improve. <laughs> I just want us as men to know how to treat our women because once we learn how to treat our women man it's going to be so much greater for us as men and I believe that we would stop messing around because I didn't think that I would ever stop doing that ever wow so we just need to learn how to treat I do our women. we need more like you keep we really do where it's only one boy. Me. Oh wow. And his wife got him. I know. Ain't that something? Well my takeaway is, as always, I just really want to empower women. I agree with you guys and young lady over there. I agree that men should not <clears throat> take advantage of women just because they can. I do agree with that. However, the bottom line is we are all accountable for our own actions and decisions. And if your bottom line means that you are going to wind up raising that kid by yourself, that means you better make a better decision on the forefront 
than on the back end because on the back end you lose so you need to when you make decisions think about the long-term consequences and possibilities and pay attention if he says i don't want a relationship that is exactly what he means because when i saw it, said it to people that's exactly what i meant i didn't mean i was going to change my mind too much down the road just because i was still dealing with you all that meant was that we was having fun and i was enjoying you being around that's all that meant Women can do it too, she's letting you know that. So that's my takeaway, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this first show of No Holds Bar. The next show is interactive, and you know what that means. That means that we're going to be hooked up to Blog Talk so that you guys can call in and you can talk to O'Kara when he gets out of line. You can ask Miss Karen some stuff about her opinion of black men don't do anything right. You can talk to Mr. Married Man over here and... <clears throat> Get some tips on keeping your marriage spicy if you marry. Or maybe he can give the women some advice on how to get married. <laughs> yeah. Or if you want to call and, you know, have a nice friendly debate with me. I'm always up for a good debate. You know that, right? That's like one of my favorite things to do. So you can call in. So that's our next show. We'll be No Holds Bar Interactive. And we'll be looking forward to your calls and conversations. And until then, peace. 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 <laughs>